Hi everyone, in this video we're going to see how to configure and use Git WooCommerce Dynamic Pricing and Discounts. With this plugin you can create dynamic discounts and price rules to increase conversion. You're going to be able to create rules like 3 for 2, 2 for 1, buy 1 get 1 for free, and you can even apply discount to the entire shop or to specific categories. You'll also be able to schedule the rules to start and end automatically, which is super useful for events like Black Friday and Christmas. Before we get into it, let me remind you that we will a link to the plugin, documentation and live demo description below so you can go ahead and check it out. And now, let's get to it. With this plugin, you can create all kinds of dynamic discounts and price rules like the ones we can see here. We have a promo here to buy this product and get another product for free, another promo to get a 50% off on the second unit, then a quantity discount so the more you buy, the less you're going to pay for each individual item, a buy 3 pay 2 promo, buy 1 get 1 for free, and more. Now let's see how we can configure the plugin and create rules like these ones. Let's go to the dashboard, to yield, dynamic pricing and discounts. As soon as we access the plugin panel, we can see these sections. We have dynamic rules, settings, exclusion list, your store tools, help, and the option to collapse. In dynamic rules, we'll find the list of all the rules created so far. We have the rule name, the type, the priority, we're going to see that in a minute, the status, the option to enable or disable the option. If I disable it, it changes from active to inactive an option to edit the rule, duplicate it, or delete it permanently. We have bulk actions here to enable, disable, or delete several rules at once. We can filter by type. We have all the different types of rules you can create here. We can filter by status, active, inactive, schedule, or ended. These two are for the rules that you schedule to start and end automatically. And we also have the option to search for a rule or to change pages. And by clicking on Add Rule, we'll be able to create any kind of dynamic rule. We'll see how to create a rule after looking through the plugin settings. Now, in settings, we have four different subsections. Here's where we're going to manage the plugin's global settings. We have General Options, Product Page, Quantity Table, and Cart. In General Options, we get to choose if we want to allow the shop manager to manage dynamic pricing and discounts, the price format, we have some placeholders to use here. Right now, the format is to have the original price crossed out and then to have the discount price. Let me show you. Like this, this is the original price and this is the discounted price. Let's go back. And then you can choose to show the price rule details in the customer emails. Then in product page, we can choose to show the discount custom messages. This option is to show the custom messages you can set up for each dynamic rule on product pages. And then you have an option to choose where to position the message. We can position it before the add to cart button, after the add to cart button, before the excerpt, after the excerpt, or after product meta. Let's choose before excerpt so customers can see the message right after seeing the price. Save options. Before moving on, let me remind you to like this video, subscribe to our channel, and hit that bell down below so you know every time we have a new video for you. Now, let's continue with the video. Then, in quantity table, we can configure the options related to the quantity discount rules that are shown in a table on the product pages. Let's go see that. So here we have a quantity table discount rule. By buying a specific quantity, you get a specific discount. So here you have the table, the columns labels, quantity, price, and percentage discount. I'm heading here, buy more, pay less. And then you have the different quantities, the different prices based on the quantity and the different discount percentage. And if I select any of these, I'm going to get the maximum quantity added to the cart based on my configuration. Let's go back. So first off, we get to choose if we want to show the quantity table, then the layout, it can be vertical or horizontal. Same for the layout in mobile devices. We get to choose where to show it. We have before the add to cart button, after it, before excerpt, after it, after product meta, or using a shortcode so you can place it anywhere on the page. Then we have the table heading. 
buy more, pay less. You can change this and it will be applied to all of the tables in all of the products that have a quantity table. You can show a discount column in tables. This is the one, the third column. If we disable the option, this is going to be gone. And then you can choose the table labels. Right now we have quantity, price and percentage discount. You can choose how to show the quantity, whether to show the discount end date in the quantity table, what to show as default, the first discount rule or the last one, to select that default quantity in the table and to change the product price when the user changes quantity. And last, if we go to card, we're going to be able to choose what to show in the card. We can show a single label to identify all of the card rules applied, or we can show a list of the card rules applied. Then we can use the coupon label. Right now it's discount. If we want to include the taxes in the card discount calculation to show the special offers in card by adapting the unit price or the subtotal to show the amount discount info on the card. And if this is enabled, we're going to be able to add a custom message in the card totals. This is the message right now. Please note you have saved this percentage on this order. If disabled, it disappears. Then we're going to find an exclusion list. This is where we can exclude products, tags, or categories from the dynamic rules. I have no exclusions yet, so let's add a new one. I'm going to click here on add exclusion. Here we can choose product, category, or tag. It's going to be product, and I'm going to choose to exclude this product, this slim fit t-shirt, from any dynamic rules. Add the exclusion to the list, and there we go. This way we can make sure no discounts or promos are applied to this product. We can see all the excluded items, categories or tags here. We can see the name of the product with the thumbnail, the type of exclusion, and we can delete this anytime. We also have bulk actions to delete several exclusions at once, and we can filter by products, categories or tags. Next we have your store tools. This is where we're going to find additional tools to improve user experience, increase conversions, and loyalize customers. You're going to find a lot of plugins here. The best options are, for example, Yeet WooCommerce Membership, so you can activate some sections of your e-commerce with restricted access so that only members can see the content. Then you have Yeet WooCommerce Multi-Vendor Marketplace so that you can turn your e-commerce into a marketplace where you have multiple vendors selling their products and earning commissions. You'll find a lot of plugins here. And then we have the Help tab. Here you're going to find a video tutorial to show you how to configure the plugin and create dynamic rules, a link to the documentation where we explain how the plugin works and how to configure the settings, a link to our video tutorials, a link to the frequently asked questions in case you have any doubts and the link to submit a ticket in case you need support from our developers. Okay, so now that we have seen all of the sections, we're going to go back to dynamic rules and we're going to create a rule. Let's create a rule to apply a 25% discount on the entire shop for Black Friday. I'm going to click here and you're going to see all of these templates. We have three for two, buy one, get one for free, two for one, quantity discount, free shipping, and we have Black Friday right here. Or we can create the rule from scratch. We can set a quantity discount, a special offer, gift products, global discount, category discount, or card discount. In this case, to show you how to configure the rule from scratch, I'm going to choose set a global discount instead of the template that is already created. We're going to click on set a global discount. We're going to name the rule and here we can give it a priority. This is important to overwrite rules. In case several rules apply, the one with the highest priority is the one that will be applied first. So let's set one as the priority. Then we have the rule configuration section. Here's where we choose how much of a discount we want to apply to the entire shop for this rule. So we can choose to apply a percentage discount, a price discount, or a fixed price. It's going to be a percentage discount of 25% on all products. If we want to, we can exclude products from this rule. Keep in mind, we have already created an exclusion on the exclusion list section. So that product will not have this 25% discount applied. But if you want to exclude products specifically from this rule, you can enable the option and choose them here. It can be specific products, categories, or tags. 
Then we have the rule application section. This is where we can choose if we want to apply this discount to all users, only specific users or only specific user roles. Then we can choose to exclude users from this discount as well. You can enter a specific user here or specific user roles. I'll keep this option disabled. And here we can schedule the rule or start it now and end it manually. In this case, since it's a discount for Black Friday, I'm going to schedule it. So it starts on November 24. We can set this, for example, to start at midnight, but I'll change it to start at 8 a.m. There we go. Done. And let's extend it until November 26 at 8 p.m. Done. Okay. So this way the rule will start automatically on November 24th and it will end on November 26th. So only within these dates, customers are going to find the products with a 25% discount. Then here we can choose if you want to disable the rule when the products are on sale or when a coupon code is applied. This way you can prevent users from getting several discounts at once. And you can enable this option to make sure you disable other rules with lower priority. This way only this rule is applied and not multiple rules. And lastly, in the customization section, we can choose to show the discount in loop. And here's where we can choose to show a custom notice for the products that have this rule. I'm going to enable this option and I get to add the message right here. Let's do do not miss out on our Black Friday deal. Get this product with a 25% discount now. Save rule. There we go. So here is the rule we have just created with its name, Black Friday discount, the type, a global discount, priority, status, and enable option. Keep in mind that every single time you create a dynamic rule, you have to enable it. It is not enabled automatically, okay? So I have just enabled it. And as you can see here, it is scheduled for November 24th. Even if I enable the option, it is not going to start right now because I have a schedule it. Now let's create a rule to give the product if a specific product is added to the cart. We're going to click on add rule. You can choose the template here, but I'm going to create it from scratch. So I'm going to click on gift products. I'm going to name the rule. We can change the priority here and here we'll find the trigger options. We're going to offer a gift if the user buys we can choose all products, so we can give users a gift if they add any product to the cart, specific products, product categories, or tags. I'm going to select specific products. I'm going to give the product to customers when they add a pepper green shirt to the cart. And here we can choose which products we want to give as a gift. I'm going to offer my customers two products and they are going to be able to choose just one of them. I'm going to offer a set of earrings or a necklace. So I'm going to offer a set of earrings or a necklace as a gift for free if they add this shirt to the cart. And here you can set how many gift users can select. One is perfect. So we're going to offer the gift if there is a minimum number of items in the cart or a minimum subtotal. In this case, it's going to be items. But if you choose subtotal, you can set the minimum subtotal. So items and the total items in cart has to be greater than, less than, equal to, or not equal to. I'm going to select greater than zero because they can simply get the gift by adding one product to the cart. You can choose to offer the gift to all users, specific users or user roles to exclude users from this rule. To schedule the rule, in this case, I'm just going to start it now and end it manually. To disable the rule if the products are on sale or if a coupon code is applied, disable other rules with lower priority. Yes, we want to keep this enabled. And here we have a text to show in the model window. Customers that add this pepper green shirt to the cart are going to see a model window to choose which one of the two gifts they want to get. So this is the text we're going to see in just a minute and we can add a custom notice in the products that have this rule. So this would be the pepper green shirt. I'm going to add a message here. There we go. Buy a pepper green shirt and get a beautiful set of earrings or a necklace for free. And then we can also add a message to the products that are offered as gift. So to the earrings and the necklace. I'm going to enable this option. There we go. Get it for free if you buy a pepper green shirt. Okay, now we're going to save rule. Remember, we need to enable the rule. There we go, it's active and now let's go see it. Okay, so this is the pepper green shirt. 
I have my message here. You can, of course, edit the color, the size, and more. So here it says, buy a pepper green shirt and get a beautiful set of earrings or a necklace for free. I'm going to add this to the card. And let's go view the card. Okay. And here I get a model window. It says you can add one product for free. And I get to choose between these black and gold earrings and this amber necklace. You see that the price is crossed out and it's zero because it's a gift. And I can simply choose which one I want to add to cart. And there we go. The price is zero. And here we have the name of the dynamic rule that was applied. Gift product with shirt. And that's it. That's how easy it is to configure the plugin and create all kinds of dynamic pricing and discounts with it. Okay, so that's how the plugin works. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, please give this video a big thumbs up and we'll meet again for our next video. Bye.